Now it's time to hear from our economics expert. Please welcome Luke McGregor. Thanks, Charlie. So what have you got for us this week, Luke? Uh, well, this week... Um, actually, sorry, do you, mind, do you mind if I borrow the desk? Sorry, what? Oh, you just be... I've got graphics and stuff I want to throw to. It'd just be easier if we, if we swap seats. Uh, uh, thanks, buddy. Cheers, okay. mate. Trust me. Trust me. Um, so what, what should I do? Uh, not interrupt me, for starters. Right, sorry. I forgive you. Hi everyone, my name is Luke McGregor and today I'm here to talk to you about the economic impact of the arts. So, whatever I say just appears. Hot dogs. Awesome. As you can tell by how funny I am, I'm a comedian and I've always felt like my job isn't that important. Well, it turns out, so do a lot of people. A recent survey in Singapore asked people which jobs they believe are crucial to keeping Singapore going in the context of the pandemic. The number one essential job was doctor slash nurse, and the number one non-essential job was artist. At least they employed an artist to create a graphic telling them how unimportant they are. So, what is the arts? We're talking theatre, we're talking film and TV, music, production, design, this drawing of Guy Sebastian I drew, etc. It's all the arts! So, how much does the arts sector actually contribute to the economy? It's a great question. In 2016-17, the arts contributed $111 billion to Australia's economy. To get a sense of how big that is, aviation contributed $18.42 billion to the economy in 2018. But what, 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 what about jobs? Scott Morrison has said the arts employs around 600,000 Australians. That's more than accommodation, more than aviation, and 10 times more than coal mining. Now, like a lot of industries, COVID hit the arts pretty hard. One of my bands, Battlesnake, has had to pull their entire tour over the next two months. And if it could happen to Battlesnake, it can happen to anyone. It's not just live gigs being affected either. Movies, television, I mean, it's really hard to film the Battle of the Bastards with social distancing. It also means the arts will be one of the last industries that will get back up and running because of the risk to public health. So the arts needs help. But so far, the federal government has been... JobKeeper and JobSeeker have helped some people, but many in the arts don't meet the government's eligibility criteria. Recently, there was some good news. So today, we're announcing $250 million of additional support into the sector, which is all about getting the show back on the road. Now, $250 million might seem like a lot, but it's less than the budget of Cars 2. The website I Lost My Gig shows COVID-19 is costing the industry $340 million, and that was back in April, and only $35 million of the government support package is for direct financial support. The majority is tied up as grants and conditional loans for when things open back up again. Yeah, but $35 million is a lot of money, though, Luke. What did I say about interrupting me? Yes, it does seem like a lot, yet the aviation industry has received well over $1.2 billion from the government. I'm not saying they shouldn't have gotten that. I'm just trying to point out how tiny the art support package is. Oh, and I should probably mention this too. Up to 250 jobs across all divisions in the ABC set to go. A result of a federal government funding freeze, $84 million over three years. Thanks, government. So, the arts still needs our help, and we should help. One, because the industry has a huge beneficial impact on the economy. Two, because the arts raises so much when everyone else needs help. And three, without the arts, I mean, What's the point? Yes, we need to eat and procreate, but what are you going to watch over dinner and what music do you listen to when you're in the bedroom? I mean, without it, there's no TV, movies, stories, comedy, and, and most importantly, no video games. I, 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 I can't even imagine it. That, that's, a, that's an actual photo of my bedroom. So yes, we don't need the arts to survive, but I would argue that the arts gives us a reason to.